Ariso Velasquez's family is frustrated by the lack of transparency from Pembroke Behavioral Hospital. She was here receiving mental health care, and now the state medical examiner is working to determine how she died in their care. The family of Marisol Velasquez sharing this picture with News Center 5 as they mourn her sudden death. The 41 year old was found unresponsive in her room at Pembroke Behavioral Hospital while receiving mental health care. She was healthy. Um, we have you know, of no reason for her sudden demise. Medical uh, malpractice attorney yeah, Bud DeLuca represents the Velasquez family as they navigate the painful reality of Marisol's mysterious death. No one knows. They just found her and, and there's no explanation that's being given. On July 22nd, Pembroke police was called to Pembroke Behavioral. Marisol was then taken to South Shore Hospital where she died. Pembroke police, Massachusetts State Police and the Plymouth County DA are investigating. An autopsy is underway. But whatever did cause her death was it the responsibility of anyone who was caring for her. DeLuca says the lack of information given by the hospital makes this case very unusual. It is pretty shocking. Uh, and then the question is, how long was she uh, dead before the family was notified? He's currently helping the family get legal authority to access Marisol's hospital and medical records, hoping that will shed some light on what happened to the mom of four. Marisol's family tells me they will always remember her as a person who expressed her love proudly. We reached out to the company which operates Pembroke Behavioral Hospital and have not heard back.